Sean here so in this video I'm going to show you some of the newest features it is now possible to get in and out of the lunar module uh, and you can see the prompt just in front of me there uh, the contact switching also uses the Y button so if you're looking at one of these uh, panels or these buttons over here they still operate and they take precedence over exiting or, or entering the vehicle uh, so I'll get out now here we are, standing at the base of the lunar module, looking at the ladder as if we've just climbed out. And I can use the uh, the Xbox 360 controller to walk around, as you would expect. Uh, just having a cruise around here on the pad. Um, when you get close to the lunar module, you'll see the prompt to re-enter the lunar module. And uh, it's very, very cool to be able to stand here and see this in actual scale. Uh, we can also jump way with moon gravity. There's the sun. We'll just go over here and we'll just show you these buildings because uh, it's quite cool seeing how just how large they are. If you're wearing a Rift headset and watching this video, you'll uh, you'll be able to appreciate just what the scale of these things are. Um, okay, so that's that, and. Uh, what else have we got to show? Um, we can now earn achievements. Well, we've always been able to earn achievements, but uh, they'll now display correctly. Uh, I'm still working on a lot of the UI. You can't actually view all the available achievements yet, but I'm going to add that soon. Um, so we'll just pop back in here, and uh, I'll do a quick mission. Let's see missions. Uh, let's see, we'll do a, let's do a survey mission, there we go, we'll find out where it is, S for survey, survey, quiet location, it's 396 meters away, just check the map, okay, it's just behind me, alright, so let's set off, off we go, make sure I don't burn too much fuel because uh, I am flying an unmodified lunar module with no upgrade so uh, fuel expenditure is quite high and also there's no stabilization so I'm going to have to continually counter any rotational drift not to be confused with the oculus rift your drift correction because we are in space uh, these numbers on the side here, 0 0.6, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, that's pitch, yaw and roll uh, in degrees per second and that's how much I'm rotating on those axes, or axi, or axis. Hmm. Let's find out what the correct plural is for that word. So, just picking up some speed. Well, we're quite low on fuel already. Probably should have done that big burn on the way out. Uh, I've fixed the uh, thrust lock on. You can see my thrust there is, is, is holding at 35.7. You can enable the thrust lock by pressing the back button on the Xbox controller. Let's start reducing some of my speed. And uh, once we're in the survey zone, the survey uh, indicator light will light up yellow, which is actually the green light you can see over there. Okay, we're almost there, almost at halfway on fuel. Okay, lights on. Push the left stick in to start the acquisition process. Oh, we've gone outside the zone. Might not be able to make this mission. We are below halfway. Okay, start again. Takes 10 seconds. Let's get the data. Alright, we're good. And there is the achievement notification. Acquire data on a survey mission. Worth 25 points. Um, you will actually earn experience and money as well for completing achievements. Now then, let's see if we can bring this back. I don't think uh, we're going to pull this one off because we are already almost at a quarter of a tank left and with 300 meters to go well 
just have to wait and see what happens, I guess. Try and avoid any wasted fuel expenditure. Use the fuel thrust lock to minimise the absolute amount of thrust that we need. Just pitch this back to zero. Keep us level. Coming in at 4.8 meters per second. On target. This is going to be very close to the wire. I'm going to have to bend, burn fuel to slow myself down. Here we go. We might have a bit of a heavy landing. It's going to be close. This will make a great video. 50 units left. Put it down. Yeah. Alright. Let's check the damage system. 84, that's okay. We can repair that up. Get some fuel and we'll upload the data. Mission complete. And there you have it guys. Uh, the, uh, the build should be available in about a week's time. I've just got to finish the remaining uh, menu systems. So there you have it. Thanks for watching.